Fuck you, year 10. The teachers don't really know me, I don't have friends, they don't know about my um, educational background, they don't know if I'm clever or not, they don't know what I could um, achieve. But then, beside that, for me personally, um, you know, to be able to understand what my friends or teachers are saying because the language, because of the language barrier. So everyone to me speak too fast. I couldn't um, easily understand. If you, you know, if I'm having a conversation with a friend or um, a teacher, I have to, you know, ask or could you repeat yourself again sometimes because it's just too fast. And apparently they said, you know, Londoners like speak too fast. But slowly I have to um, learn to adapt and blend in and quickly, you know, learn. Then the subject I picked was um, GCSE PE, um, History, uh, Triple Science, and ICT, um, Religious, yeah? So I was hoping, okay, one day I'll be a doctor, you know, all these kind of um, dreams. But then I remember my first day, my first PE, actually, when I um, played football. And my friends were like, oh, well, I mean, you're actually good at football, you know, why not play for the school team? And I'm like, okay. Then I decided to, you know, join the school team. And from there, I start to you know make friends, um, start to know um, the teachers, you know. Then the teachers start to get to know me, you know, start to know my abilities as well. But one thing in life about me is I always want to do well. I always want to achieve because I have that big dream that you know I came from somewhere else and I have the opportunity. I want to do well for myself. I want to be proud of myself. You know, 20, 30 years later, if I have a long life, I want to look back and say. I've actually done well, you know. I don't want to look back and say, I wish I could have done that. I've, I wish, you know, I could have done things in different ways because I've met people in life much more older than me that said, oh, they wish they have done well in school or they wish they've taken the opportunities to, you know, learn and do their GCSEs. But what I want you to know is education is actually very, very important beyond your imagination because the sector I'm working in today as a recruitment um, resourcer, um, I get people job. I mean employers, you know, I go to um, employers, I get vacancies, and sometimes you couldn't believe simple literacy and a numeracy test, you see someone with 30, 40 years, you know, that you were thinking 4 plus 4 minus 2, they couldn't do it. And just for a cleaning job or just to work in my business, they couldn't do it. Why? Because they didn't take the opportunity when they're younger to you know, study and pass their GCSEs or be more focused in school, they just think, no, it's a joke, I'm going to do something else. But when I was in school, everyone think I was predicted five GCSEs. That's because I started in year 10. So they're thinking, five GCSEs including maths and English, I should be okay. Because maths and English is actually very, very important. Without that, you will still struggle. If you even finish school without your maths or your English, you still have to do it again. I've met people that are still struggling to do it even more, even though they're not in school. So I have to revise, I have to work very, very hard, you know, outside school, at home, I have to study. If I'm going to my football training, I take my textbooks, my notes, study on the train, study on the bus. Why? Because I want to do well. I want to come to school, taking my results, laughing, same as my colleagues. It wasn't easy. It didn't just happen. I wasn't one of those students that, you know, Past their GCSEs in one day because you're smart without revising, without working out. I work very, very hard in school. I make use of my teachers, after school, extracurriculum. I stay after school to do, you know, do extra lessons. The subject that I'm not good at, I go to my teachers and my colleagues. But at the end of the day, I got 10 GCSEs, including maths and English. I was predicted five GCSEs. And you can imagine, year 10 to year 11. People think it's impossible, but it is possible. Whatever you put your mind on, you will get it. So you have to believe in what you want to achieve. You have to believe in yourself. It's very important. There's no, there's no um, point someone saying to you, you're actually very good. You've got potential. You know, you can achieve this. But you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can achieve that for you to be able to get to where you want to be. Currently, I'm a um, recruitment resourcer. You know, the way I got my job. It's very, you know, sometimes people say to me, I mean, I want to do what you're doing. You know, I want to be where you are. How come you get into this um, sector? But, like I always say, opportunity, when you do work hard, opportunities will come to you. If you want to be a doctor, a football player, sometimes, you know, you have to take different routes to get to where you want to be in life. And that means taking opportunities, doing something else. There's, there's so many things that you don't, you're not being taught in school. It's out there, you have to learn it outside. It's outside some school environment, and how do you learn that? Is by taking opportunities, going to an event, you know, meeting different people, building networks. 
you know, that's when you realize actually there's more you can do, there's more to life, there's more, you know, besides being in school, because there's certain things that you have to learn it out there. So I went for a um, customer service job, right? I have to do a, um, a two minute presentation about myself, why do I want to do a customer service? So I did um, the presentation, it went very well, but the director of the company I'm working for now came into the room and everyone was like, oh, well done, Army, well done. And he goes, oh, what did he say? And he said to me, um, can I see your CV? And believe me, all I have on my CV was work experience, volunteering, because when I was, you know, 18, 17, I take a lot of opportunities in doing volunteering or doing some added um, coaching course. Opportunities that some of the things that I've achieved today, I didn't pay for it. People paid for me to do it. That's because they wanted me to achieve. But then I was thinking, I don't need this. Why am I doing this? I, I want to be a professional football, um, footballer. I don't need to do this. But then because of the good people around me, they said, take opportunities. You never know when you might need scientists in life. So he said to me, um, can I see your CV? I gave it to him. And he goes, see me when you finish. So after the presentation, the lady was saying to me, oh, you're very good. Um, the reason why I wanted to take you for your customer service is because of the way um, you present yourself, what you've done um, so far. And the director was like, no, I have something better for him and I think they would like it. So I said, okay, let me just look at what you have. He said, I have a position for a recruitment um, resource or employment advisor. And I'm thinking, I've never done this before. How am I going to do it? And he said, you have the skills and experience looking at your CV and the way you talk, you can do it. So he gave me a week to think about it. I look at the job description. Most of the details that are there is things that I've used or done before outside you know, school or in that job because um, I'm a young ambassador for London Foster Achievement, so I have to like, go travel to Soto to have a meeting on how to like better education of young people. So these are skills that I've learned um, outside. So I came back to him and said, look, I'll take this opportunity to do this um, apprenticeship, which is to do um, BTEC um, level three. So I've achieved BTEC level three in sports science, and now I did another apprenticeship in business um, admin, which is um, another level three. So I started doing that in June 2015, and my contract was for a year, so to achieve all my, um, to achieve my certificate, so which was very good. So in June 2016, 25th, which was when I signed my contract last time, and my director said to me, Ahmed, you've actually, you know, <coughs> very well, you've done, you've, you've come a long way, you've done very well in this sector, we would like to, you know, em give you a full-time um, employment, you know, finishing your apprenticeship, which was, I was actually very happy, why? Because I know how much, you know, how hard I've worked to get there, I've seen people, you know, that come up to me, how did you do this, how did you get there within a short um, period of time? thinking I came in 2010 and 2016. So it's actually not a big gap, five years. And so I've achieved so many things, but that just didn't happen in one day. It takes a lot, a lot of hard work. It didn't happen, I have setbacks. Things just didn't go smoothly. I have setbacks, sometimes, you know, I feel like, no, I don't want to do this. Why am I doing this? Why are things not going well for me? But then people say to me, you know, you have to keep going. But I have to believe that, you know, and um, because I have that big dream that I want to be a professional footballer, but if it's not happening now, it will happen later. That might not be what I'm destined to be, that might not be what I'll be in the future, but when you do work hard, one thing I've learned and understand is when you do work hard, you end up achieving something great in life, even though if it's not some that ideal um, profession that you want to be, but you end up being somewhere that you know, you're very happy and you know, you're doing things that you know, you're happy with, you live good, you're smiling, that's the most important thing in life. There's no point of leaving school, doing, waking up in, in the morning, coming to school and not learning. I always say to one or two people, like, why would you wake up in the morning to go to school or somewhere that you need to learn and you just don't learn? Why would you just wake up and leave your home, travel, spend money, and you decided not to learn? Think about it, guys, it's not good. So whatever you do, have motivation. There should be something that motivates you. There should be something that, you know, get you going, when things are not going well, there should be something that will say to you, you know what, that's where I want to be. Things might not be looking good now, but I know I'll be there. It's not gonna, It's not easy, it might not happen in a week or a month, but at the end of the day, we will get a good result. So at the moment, I, I still manage to, you know, do my, um,
do my job, still playing as a semi-professional footballer. Sometimes people say, how do you manage to do that? It's all about being organized and knowing what you want to achieve in life. So that's my message for you.